even worse than I feared. Hey, help me get him to Canopus Farms, now! Y yes, I Doctor. won't let him die. Of that you have the word of Dr. Gizal. <sighs> Stop okay, moving go. around! Quickly! Come on, people, let's go, go, go! We can't let this thing die! We can't let him! I'll be mad if we lose a chocobo! I will be actually mad if that chocobo dies! Do you really think that was a chocobo? Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo. Yeah, don't doubt it, Lightning. Now, while we're here, I'm low on HP. You guys can't blame me for doing this, can you? Just heal up with all my magic, and then just finish him off with the thunder. Actually, I'll take care of you with thunder right now, because you're annoying me. And you seem to be very touchy. Time to sleep. That's it. Come on, girls. Or guys, or whatever gender of fine are. Do they have any? Add it. Okay. Thunder! Such is fate. Hey, Slash! Did absolutely nothing. Aurora! There we go. There we go. Yeah, the next fight's become a doctor, because we need to go and say that chocobo! To me too. But the thing is, when I first saw it, I felt this weird familiarity. You felt familiar with a chocobo? Maybe you just need a friend, Light. Hey, oh? you know what I felt. I'll follow the doc back to Canopus Farms. Sounds like a plan. But first, you do a little something uh, a little quick here. You probably noticed me grabbing cold these within the last episode, or whenever I decide to split this, but basically these earring blossoms get me good for a side quest. That's another thing with this area. When I said the the reversal of uh, the dead dunes. This place has the most quests per in an area in the entire lightning returns of the game. 22 of them. So basically you'll be collecting stuff off the wazoo. The Earring Blossoms are going to be good for a certain quest later on. Wait, hold on. Are you a valley? Ah, you are a valley. Come here. That's it. Good valley. Good, good valley. Let's go. Let's go. Basically, these things, they're the blue leaf plans of wind. Or lightning. Just throw arrows at them, and you win automatically. No questions asked. Shushing. And Monster Mints? Good for another side quest. So make sure to take him on when you get the chance. But now that's everything we need to do sidewise. Let's get back to Nova's farms as quick as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a chocobo in the mix. We need to get some ER up, up, up in all of this. We need to save that white chocobo's life. Not only because it's the angel of Valhalla, but because it's also a chocobo. If it dies, oh, you're going to see an unhappy drift throughout the rest of the LP. Or at least of this area. Alright, so just gotta run all the way over. Come on. There it is. Yep. Okay, gotta jump. Ah! Curse the freaking surrounding tents. Get me in there! Thank you. Here we go. Much better. Much, much better. I'm sorry. Dr. Gazal's in surgery right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to wait here. Give me some fresh water. Yeah. Okay, good. Poor guy. As I stood there, watching the doctor try to save the chocobo's life, I knew this was no ordinary animal. Not only because of the legend, I felt a connection, as if we'd fought together. But why? It made no sense. Come see for yourself. Isn't that just noticing that her scarf goes through her sword? 
If that's just a little odd for me to notice now, it probably is. There we go! Light, what about the chocobo? Do you want to leave without seeing how it's doing? F no! You're right. His wounds are cleaned and dressed, but he's still dying. Can't you help? Listen to me. He's half-starved. If he is to recover, he needs nutrients, vitamins, protein. But no matter what we do, we can't make him eat. Is he that weak? It's not a question of being weak. He's too proud. That's the problem. We've tried everything to coax him, but he simply won't accept any food from humans. And the fool beast just glares at us. That pride will kill him. Such a stubborn bird can be none other than the Angel of Valhalla. The only human the Angel will bow to is the one he recognizes as Master. Perhaps he will obey you. Try it. Offer him this. Alright. Why not? And we have Saving an Angel quest beginning now. I am where you help, and just can hand over these dissolved grains to the chocobo here. Looks like he recognizes you as his master. As long as we keep providing him with feed, he should recover. I say we, but of course I mean you. He will not accept help from anyone else. He has to be your responsibility and yours alone. If I do it, will he recover? I would bet my reputation on it. This is the bird of legend. You're destined to ride him to the fountainhead of the chaos. But before you can do that, the bird needs to be fed. So you said. Any hints? What kind of food should I give him? I prescribe a balanced diet of Gizal greens, quality sheep's milk, and nutritional supplements. Ask the villagers if they have any greens or milk to spare. Oh my lord. Even listening to that, the guy moan it is painful on me. I'm sorry. But I'm a major animal lover, so... This actually does, this upsets me, it really does. But, here we are at the Wildlands, care for the Angel of Valhalla. Not only is it a side quest, it's actually a main gimmick for this. I gave specific items like, say, Gazelle Greens here to the wounded white chocobo, which you found in the Wildlands, so you can help him heal and grow strong again. When the chocobo has recovered, you will be able to ride him across the land. And thanks to his ability to jump great heights, you will be able to reach previously inaccessible locations such as where we need to go for the main quest. There are several kinds of items that are good for Chocobo health. Get your hands on all the items you can find, and you're bound to find the best medicine for your new steed. That's what I do. Doctor, the Chocobo is out of immediate danger. But he needs more. Hey, hey, don't step on the vegetables. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right. No harm done. I was only warning you. I've just planted a whole crop of Gazal seedlings. Right. Chocobo's favorite food. Yep. And our bread and butter. My name is Sarala, by the way. This is our field. My father's and mine. We've always worked it together. Nice to meet you and everything. You should feed that white Chocobo of yours with some Gazal greens. Normally we have a full crop, but with father away I have no fertilizer to grow more. That's the last one. But you can have it. Thanks. So yeah, basically these guys have food all around. Exactly nurse to a giant bird. I'm telling you, it better be worth the trouble. Lightning? My friend, we meet again. Don't frustrate me. Tell me that the white chocobo is out of danger. Yes, he's safe for now. Thanks to you. He brought the doctor just in time. Lucky for us both. I'm glad we could save that magnificent animal. Now here, I give you this gift. Some chocobo. He'll become your steed. And not only that, if the legends are true, he'll be able to guide you to the temple of the goddess and the source of the great chaos. Hey, how's that bird doing? Of course, I speak of the white chocobo that you're caring for. Perhaps you would like to feed him some of this fortifying milk. The truth is, one of my regulars wanted it, but I just can't stand by seeing that poor creature suffer. You take it. Thank you! That's so generous of you! 
And no, I don't want to sleep. He'd better be useful. I was never one for keeping pets. Lightning? Hi. What do you need today? You aren't really telling me to let you just die at the hands of a chocobo eater. Or maybe a niblet. You're gonna talk that way about the chocobo. I really will suicide you. That's how mad you're making me. Uh, anyway, here we are the expert outfitters. If you don't by any chance have the spells that you need, like uh, the ones I set up, these garbs have the what you need. Each one harnesses a certain power from lightning into ice to wind, all that stuff. So if you need them, I recommend buying them. I'm going to be buying them just for the sake of it because of their ability. As you can see in their uh, default, you know, garb abilities, you have arrow plus or thunder plus or whatever is the garb may be. This basically makes it so it's a makeshift Aurora as it'll cast, or, oh, let me put, how I put this? Basically whatever the spell is, the third hit combo of the move will do its second tier spell. So this thunder will be thunder, thunder, then thundara. This one will become blizzard, blizzard, blizzara, and y you can pretty much predict with it. Now in this area, since there are valleys, I recommend using the wood wall or woodland walker should you need it. Or perhaps you can use this one, the ignition, for any of the uh, annoying dryads that you find in the forest. Either way, I'm not going to be using any of them for now. I might set them up later should I feel like it, you know, just change up my play look. And I do want to kind of swap around these things. I mean, I do have the money for it and all. And not that much of a taxing on my garb sets. Of course, I'm not getting rid of purple lining for obvious reasons, and Quiet Guardian, and we'll need a good defense. But for Knights of Etra, we'll replace it with any of these. It increases ATB back to normal, but it gets an increase in magic. Very helpful. And each one is uh, activated with this. 10% increase to magic, plus 80 magic points. So, completely magic oriented. Very good and very handy. Again, I won't be using it now, but maybe later in the future. Perhaps. But in the meantime, those will be in there for this time being. I'll just be using what we have. As I do like to uh, use my new garbs. Sort of. Anyway, after grabbing all three of those uh, little food items, we're going to toggle over here to the Chocobo. We're going to give to him and each one of these. Oh, you should eat. Well, Aww, it's so cute! Aww. A bunch of fuss buckets, aren't they? The villagers, I mean. Everyone's been very kind and helpful. Well, you have to be out here in the wildlands. No one who tries going it alone survives very long. Just remember, if someone scratches your back, they'll expect some back scratching in return. Get to know. Talk to you again. Oh, it hurts. Drink this. Oh. It's a unique specimen, without a doubt. But it needs to eat what other chocobos eat. Even a legend can't live on air and admiration. Did you try offering him food again? Is he still refusing you? Yes, we've tried. But he kicks up a fuss loud enough to scare the sheep in Arius. It's you or nobody. I guess I'm stuck with him. That's a good thing, mind you. We have our own pet chocobo, who recognizes us as its master. You might give this, thing, this guy some respect. Definitely. Even if he is weak. You know, the weak, they become stronger the more you train them. So, uh, yeah, shut your mouth. Oh. Things have finally settled down. Have you had a chance to talk to everyone here at Canopus Farms? People here, they understand the importance of helping each other out. It's the only way to survive. As long as that chocobo keeps eating, he's bound to recover sooner or later. The problem is, he'll only accept food from your hand. He doesn't need any more surgery. And he won't accept food from me. So it looks like I've done all that I can for him. If you need any help or advice, talk to 13. Well, of course we don't need all help. Now, buddy, I love you. I'll be back soon, I promise. 
We were not abandoning you. How does it look? Can you help the Chocobo? Well, the doctor says he's out of immediate danger, for now. But he needs quality fodder to get his strength back. Why, that is good news. I suppose that means you'll be wanting lots of gazelle greens then, won't you? I could give you lots normally, but we've just shipped off our latest harvest to the city, and we don't have any left. So it's no use waiting for the next crop, right? Actually, gazelle greens ripen ever so fast. They spring out of the ground right before your eyes, if you have fertilizer, that is. Father went off to the woods to collect fertilizer, but he still hasn't returned. He's been gone for days. But the woods aren't that far. Could something have happened? He does it all the time. He wanders off without a word and leaves me alone. That's why I'm not so worried. I know he'll be back, uh, eventually. The least he could do is tell you where he goes. It's not right. Forcing you to put on a brave front and pretend you're not worried. Oh, you could tell? Darn it. I try so hard to pretend it's perfectly normal that he just disappears. But the truth is, I'm scared to death about him. And you have no idea where he goes? What's his name? His name's Cole. He said he went to the woods to look for fertilizer. The Yag Woods, I mean. If you happen to see Father, would you tell him something? Certainly. And here we have our first optional quest here. A Father's Request. In the farming village of Canopus Farms, Lang encounters a young woman called Sorala tending her field. Sorala grows gazelle greens, a favorite of the Chocobos. But at the moment, her field lies barren for want of fertilizer. And of course, gardening issues. Her father was supposed to bring back some, but he is prone to wandering off for days at a time. And this time, too, he has failed to return. Not a good sign. Lang should head to the Yogg Woods and find a wayward farmer by the name of Cole. And just give him peace of our mind. If I find a farmer called Cole, I'll send him on home. Father headed towards Yab, where the hunting woods lie. When you find him, tell him to bring some fertilizer home. You got it, sweetheart. Well, I'll find your father, or my name is Enlightening. And now, uh... Time we start beginning our quest search. Daring Blossom right there, great. Uh, so for our next quest, we're gonna be going a pretty long way. We gotta head all the way down to this area. From here, it doesn't seem that far, but it'd be a lot easier if we had our chocobo. And that's another thing about this area. Probably the most expansive compared to the Dead Dunes. But with a chocobo, it makes getting around this place is pretty much a no, pro a no pain. So even if you're not going for the main quest, which you should do if you want to complete the game, uh, having a chocobo is always a great thing. Now I'm gonna go around this, because I cannot actually jump over cliffs, contrary to popular belief. Even though we've been shown to jump off cliffs many, many times and parkour over metal like nobody's business, we unfortunately do not have that ability in this game. Just gets stripped from us. A little bit of a nuisance, but again, I find no harm in it. Let's see, around here, another daring, daring blossom. Blossom, blossom, oh blossom. Now we're gonna come over here. I'm guessing this is the guy, let me see. 